Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today we're going to show you how to make a post on WordPress. Now, we're using the latest version of WordPress here, so if yours doesn't look exactly like this, don't worry, it's pretty much the exact same. The icons might be a little bit different, and the theme and the admin and the front end might be a little bit different, but the uh, positionings and the exact process and everything should be the exact same. They haven't really changed it that much over the years. So we have our page here, and notice how when I'm logged in, I have this top bar here. Now we can create a new post simply by clicking this new and then post. Now it takes us to the post administrative screen where we can enter our post. We have a WYSIWYG editor, which stands for what you see is what you get. Basically you type here in a text editor and it's something like Microsoft Word or Google Docs like you might be used to, or you can click text if you are more familiar with code. Um, now we can also get here by in the back end of the site if we have this open or even if we have this closed we can click on posts and then either add new here or add new here either way it's going to take us to the same screen we can then collapse this menu again to make this editing a little bit bigger now our post needs a title so we can say our first post and we want to type some text here, but I don't really have anything I necessarily want to say. So I use this hipster ipsum, and it's sort of just like the lorem ipsum. It's just generated text, um, but this one is a little bit funnier because it's, I don't know, hipster text. So it has things like PBR and whatever. Okay, so I have some text here. And it, all that matters is we have some paragraphs here. If you go to text, this tab right here, you'll see it look, doesn't look a whole lot different because it's not really code, but you can write code in here. So visual, this is more of a, you know, a word, what you see is what you get. Now we have what type of format we want the post to be. And we have some options this is an image, a video, an audio, a quote, a link, a gallery, and a side, which is sort of just like side content, or is it a standard post? This is a standard post with text and a title, so we're just gonna leave this as the format and we can minimize this here. Now we have the option of adding some categories, so let's add a new category and this will be introduction. Okay, and let's add, uh, let's click the add new category button and let's, um, I'll just add a hipster category as well. So now we have two categories here and we can even uncheck this if we decide that we don't want to use one of these. Now notice how there's also a most used tab here. Once we start publishing posts, this most used is going to generate of your most used categories, making it nice and easy to find them. Now you can also make something a child category of something else. So if we wanted um, a child category of hello, to be a category of introduction, we could do that. However, we don't need that many categories. That seems like maybe something you'd wanna use a tag for. Now we can then minimize this just like that, get it out of the way, or you could leave it open and scroll down. And now we can add a tag. So let's just add some tags. So it can be a hello world tag. And then notice how it says separate with commas. So. There we go. And so I have three tags here. I can click add and see how it adds them separately based on where the comma is. If you wanted to add another one right now, uh, like that, you could click add and it just adds it to the list. So you can either add all of them at once or one at a time, just keep clicking add. Or you can also choose from your most used tags. Now we can also set a featured image here if we'd like. So let's go ahead and click select featured image. And since we don't have anything uploaded, I'm gonna select a file. Now it opened up a file picker where I selected this image of a, uh, it's a crab smoking a cigarette and it's a hilarious image. I'm gonna change the title to crab with sig. There we go. And you can put the caption as whatever you'd like. Um, smoking crab image. Okay, so now I can set this as a featured image if I'd like, or you could go ahead and upload even more and then choose one from that. Or I could upload it permanently or edit it again. So let's click set featured image because that's of course why I uploaded it. And now we're ready to get this post published. So we can do a couple of things. We could save this 
and or we could preview it. Now saving this draft just saves it in the system. It doesn't put it on the website. If we were to click save draft like this, it says it's saved. However, if we come to the front end of our website, it's not there. So to actually get the site published, we need to click this publish button. Now we could, if we want to see what it looks like before we click publish, we can always click this preview and we can see that we have this large image and our text here. Now the reason this theme looks like this is because this is this theme. Now I've zoomed in on it in a normal browser size. It's going to look smaller. It'll look something more like this so that image won't be so monstrous. But um, here we have this uh, theme. So basically if you don't like the layout and you don't like the way this looks, you can go ahead and look for other themes. Or if you are familiar with coding, you can go ahead and design your own theme. And that's one of the great things about WordPress is it makes it really easy to get up and going if you don't know the code and you don't know how to do it. But if you do, it's also flexible enough that you can have complete control over it and do what you'd like. Now, Preview Post has just opened this up and this is still not live. If we are again going to the front of our site and we're to see it, of course it's not live. So we need to click this magic red publish button here. And once it's good, you can see that we have changed it. Now, this publish button is no longer publish, but update. If we want to make a change, we're going to have to click this update button before it's live on the site. If we wanted to unpublish this, we would want to click edit and then select draft or pending review. We could also select visibility to be password protected and or private or not and or but pri or private. So we don't want to do any of that. We're happy with it being published. Let's go to the front end of our site. We can see right there, loud and clear, is our hipster ipsum first post. It has our tags, our categories, hipster and introduction. If we scroll down and see our post, you can see our tags, first post, hello world, hipster ipsum, and introduction. And if we come up here and click on the title, we can actually go to that posts page. And you'll see in here that besides having our information, we can also leave a comment on it. Or you can see the previous post from here, but you could leave a comment. And it, uh, yeah, that's it. So that's our first post. In the next video, we're going to talk about what more things you can do with the post interface, either adding and editing. There's all sorts of extra stuff in there. There's screen options and things. So we're going to go over that in the next video. So as always, if you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video or hit us up at Twitter at Level Up Tuts. We're also on Facebook or there's the brand new Level Up Tuts forum where you can talk and interact with the community and ask questions, whatever. So as always, this is Scott Talinsky. Thanks for watching. Bye.